Uh, well, we got a couple of minutes. Uh, yep. Real quick, off script. Okay. Okay. So, I was thinking about this. I do a lot of shopping on Amazon. Do you shop much on Amazon? A little bit. Yeah, oh, my books bit. on there. Okay. I have a book, book club, so I buy my books on okay. there. Okay, I, I buy all sorts of stuff on Amazon. Okay. So Amazon, basically, I think pretty much anything I've ever seen on Amazon, if you aren't satisfied with it, or if it comes in damaged, right. or whatever, you just return it. Right. Now, very often, depending on the product, if it comes in damaged, you, you contact, uh, sometimes the vendor wants you to contact them directly. Very often what happens is, is they'll, they'll give you a refund sure. or they'll offer to send you a new one and they don't want you to return the, damage the damaged one because it costs, more it, money. it costs more money to send it back. Yeah. So this really makes shopping on Amazon and, and other related sites Really simple. It's like it's all risk free, and 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 I can get it, and I can return it or not return it. If I don't return it, I, I don't know. I just throw it away. Mm -hmm. I have a bumper, a car bumper, that I ordered for my car that was wrong. This is a, you know, big honking piece of big metal. honking. Well, actually, it's plastic, okay. but a big honking piece <laughs> right. of plastic right. that I can't use. It was a mistake on, on their ordering. They refunded it for me. They don't want it returned. Yeah. So where's it going to go? It's going to the landfill. Is it going to go in the landfill? So my question is. Return policies like that, good or bad? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, they're great for, just like you said, they're great for, for the consumer to be able to, to with no risk, order something. Um, you know, you have people like my, my wife, who I love dearly, who basically will- Thanks not, for the shirt, by the way. Not worry, <laughs> not worry that much about what she buys on Amazon or online because yeah. she's gonna return it. Right. And she returns like 70% of the stuff she buys. <laughs> and I'm thinking, That's, that can't be good. There's a lot of Muda in that system. Well, there's not Muda from the shipping, but there's certainly a lot of Muda from the waste that comes from that. Right. So, I mean, so the question, the, the natural question is, what is a better way? I mean, the pressure, the consumer pressure to say, I want it now and I want to be able to have no risk when I order it, is what an Amazon wants because it fosters a lot more orders yeah. and ultimately they make a lot more money and they don't care about the waste. So it's your problem. Once it's shipped, they, they're done. They're done. They yeah. got their money and yeah. whatever. If they have to make it good later, they'll, they'll have to spend more money to, to do it. They'd rather not get it back, but it doesn't help the environment. Well, it does, the, the I also world. wonder if it makes us indiscriminate buyers. It does make us indiscriminate <laughs> it's buyers. It's like, oh, I'll just order it. I mean, it may, it may work, it may not work. Right. If it doesn't, I'll just ship it back. Well, I remember, so I, I, was, I remember when I was younger, return policy was a big thing. It's like, yeah. you know, you, you said, well, what is a return policy? You'd have to know before you bought something. Now, pss, everything, everything and anything yeah. is returnable. Food, I mean, it's like, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, the Trader Joe's will take anything back and give you, you know, what you want in, in, in equal right. value or more value. Right. You can try anything you want in the store. They'll open up a package on the thing and let you try it. I mean. There, the system, the, the customer being in control, I think, is great for the customer. It has created a lot of muda, I think, for the producers and the ones that have to have to live up to those standards. And right. the other thing is, I, I don't know how much time we have. I mean, we see this in our little business, is that, you know, as Quality Digest, you know, you've got to, when you're dealing with consumers, our consumers in this case are advertisers, you've got to, in a certain sense, mimic the big boys. You've got to give the same services as best as possible to the big boys. So if you're a small media company, you've got to be able to kind of do what Google can do as best as you can, right? And you want to be able to serve those kind of impressions. Right. If you're a small retailer, you got to have the same policies as the big boys or you're going to lose that business. So a Google, or an Amazon, whatever, can do things that the small guys can't, but the small guys are the ones that are ultimately are going to lose. And maybe that's part of the strategy is the squeezing of the margins for the little guys that go out and then they get that business too. I don't know yeah. if that's part of the strategy. It probably is in somebody's mind somewhere yeah. up there in those big companies. But it's a good question. I think yeah. about that a lot when I return stuff too. I try not to return anything, but yeah, yeah it's waste, it's muda. Well, if anybody needs a blue <laughs> 2004 to 2006 Toyota Highlander bumper cover, <laughs> contact me. Plastic, plastic, not metal. <laughs> blue, <laughs> I've, got, I've got one for you. Uh, All right, All right. thanks again, Derek, that's good stuff. <laughs>